Let's try it out. So yeah, let's create a name of our session. Let's keep that simple. I'm going to name it with my name. So this is the famous Sullivan Tower, home to Sullivan Style Factory. Sally wasn't exaggerating, it's huge. Oh, I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to thank her for introducing me to Mr. McAllister. I really hope everything goes well for her and her animals. Oh, I completely forgot to introduce myself. My name's Clara Willard, and this is my first day at Sullivan Style Factory. Okay, uh, she kind of looks like <laughs> a character from either Sims 1 or Sims 2. Well, yeah, Sims 2 is yeah, much closer. Okay, direct Clara to the building entrance using the arrow keys up to go forward, left and right to turn. Okay, so apparently they don't have a down button in this game, so... Okay, you can also use the mouse, move it in the direction you want to go, then left click to move forward. You can also make Clara run by holding down the right mouse button or the shift button on your keyboard. Now over to you. Oh wow, I'm spinning. <laughs> okay, this game. So, I need to use the freaking arrow keys. I prefer the arrow keys. The mouse, uh, the mouse is too slippery for me. Well done! To open the door, just press the space bar, the scroll wheel, or the middle mouse button. I'll use the space bar. Hello, Clara! Welcome to Sullivan Style Factory! There you are, Carol. I was waiting for you outside. Sorry about that. And for once, I was early. So, your big day has finally arrived. Yep, my heart's beating like crazy. To land a work placement at Sullivan Style Factory is every young stylist's dream. I know. I felt just like you the first time. Anyway, you must have loads of questions for me. Well, whatever it is you want to know, just ask. That's what I'm here for. I'd love to hear a bit more about you and your career at Sullivan Style Factory. Oh, it's pretty straightforward. I started out just like you. McAllister, the school's director, recommended me for a work placement at Style Factory. It wasn't easy in the beginning. I really had to work hard. But gradually, I managed to climb the ladder. And now, I'm the boss's assistant. Congratulations, you've done really well for yourself. I'd love to know more about the company. Style Factory is a multinational company in the cosmetics and pret-a-porter sector. It was founded by Nelson Sullivan, who still runs the company. Our products are sold all over the world. We have over 600 stores in the United States alone. The headquarters are here in New York. Who do you work with? Tell me about your colleagues. A lot of people work for Style Factory. I, I certainly don't know all of them. The managing director is Nelson Sullivan. He founded the company. His son Scott and his wife Kim work alongside him. Here, take this before you go any further. It's a personal assistant. You'll find it really useful. Everyone here has got one. But I don't even know how to use one. You'll learn. It's not hard. Now, I'm going to introduce you to the directors of Style Factory. Nelson Sullivan and his wife and son have just returned from a business trip. Their helicopter will be landing any minute now. Follow me. Your badges, please. Badge? What badge? You need a badge to use the lift. It's a security measure. But I haven't got one. It's my fault. I forgot to give you one. Go on, Mike. Be a sweetheart and let her in anyhow. It's out of the question, young lady. These are the new security measures. Okay. Wait here, Clara. I'll just go and get your badge from the design workshop. 
I'll be right back. It won't take me a second. Okay. Okay. Now you're in control of Carol. Go to the design workshop on the 20th floor and bring Clara back her badge. Oh my god. Really? Uh... Okay. 20th floor. Oh great, the door's locked. Oh no. <laughs> the key is in your inventory. To open your inventory, press the F5 key. So I'm guessing this is a tutorial on how to use your items. Now you are in your inventory. This is where you store the various objects you find. You should also categorize the items. For example, put a bottle with a glass. To do that, just drag and drop the first object onto the second one. You'll also need to take some of the objects with you, either to give them away or to use them. To take an object, just click on it. Okay. Great, you've just unlocked the door. <laughs> well, no kidding. <laughs> now you can open it. Badge has got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Now I can head back to the lobby. Clara must be getting impatient. Clara, I found your badge. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Thank you. Don't lose it. You've only got one. I'll be careful. Promise. Good. Now you have your badge. Show it to Mike. Well, duh. What else do you want me to do? Okay. Have a nice day, young ladies. You too, Mike. And well done, you, for being so conscientious. Oh no, we're late. I promised Mr. McAllister that we'd be there to meet the Sullivans on their arrival. It's your fault, Carol. Just kidding. <laughs> Hold on. Before we go and meet them, could you tell me a bit more about them? Really, Clara? You're, you guys are freaking already late. What else would you like to know? You still want to chit-chat about the owners? You can do that later, oh my god. Tell me about Nelson Sullivan. Nelson Sullivan is a living legend. Did you know that a magazine has just ranked him as the world's eighth richest man? Not a day goes by without an article about him appearing in the tabloids. But what the papers don't tell you is that this eccentric individual in his colorful getups is a formidable businessman. When he created Style Factory 12 years ago, no one believed in his idea. Today, his group is the market leader in cosmetics and Pret-a-Porter. What else would you like to know? What's Scott like? Scott doesn't have a good reputation at Style Factory. Everyone thinks he's a spoiled brat, and it's certainly true that he's never wanted for anything. After all, when your name's Sullivan, money is no object. But I think people are wrong to judge Scott on his money and sports cars alone. He's also a very sensitive young man with a real artistic talent. It's a pity he's so shy. I'd like to get to know him better. What else would you like to know? I'd like to know more about Kim. Kim Doherty is a former actress turned uh -oh, businesswoman. <laughs> she never really made it in Hollywood. Some people would go so far as to say she was no good. Anyway, since she started working for Style Factory, she certainly found her niche. Does she live with Nelson Sullivan? Yes, Sullivan was married before, but his wife died in a car accident two years ago. Since then, he's remarried to Kim Doherty, whom he absolutely worships. Scott, on the other hand, can't stand her. He thinks she's a bad influence on his father. Well, uh, she's kind of...
kind of like Kim Kardashian then since Kim in this game worked in Hollywood as well so yeah <laughs> lol but yeah I don't think did Kim Kardashian work in Hollywood I'm not so sure I'm sure that she got famous because of her freaking uh sex scandal <laughs> but yeah hurry up I'll meet you at the heliport but I don't even know where that is what what <laughs> Clara Clara you don't know where the heliport is it's obviously located in the freaking roof are you dumb oh my god oh my god Clara this is your first day at work Please, don't be dumb. It's on the building's roof, of course. Use the map on your personal assistant to find your way there. Oh my god, Clara. To find your way around the Sullivan Tower, use the map on your PDA. To access it, press the F4 button on your keyboard. Okay. <laughs> Clara. Okay, I don't think I should read the entire stuff, so... Okay, we can either uh, go to F5 and press this, or the shortcut key for, is, for it is F4. Okay. Here's the map of the building. Not only does it help you find your way around, but with just one click, you can go anywhere in the building. Ooh, so it's like teleport! Okay, let's teleport to the roof. Ah, oh, Clara, there you are. Mr. McAllister, I'm so nervous. You're understandably a little anxious, but don't worry. Nelson Sullivan is a friend of mine. Nelson, hello. Not here. The engines are making such a racket. Let's go to my office. Well, Nelson, I'd like to introduce you to Clara Willard. She's one of Imagine Fashion Designer's best students. I trust your judgment, Charles. You've got a knack for sniffing out new talent. So, young lady, you're going to be working with us? Well, uh... Don't be shy. Here at Style Factory, we're all one big family. This is my wife, Kim, who runs the cosmetics department, and my son, Scott, who's in charge of the fashion design department. What would you like to do here? Clara's a very promising designer. I thought she could join the design team. The design team? Is that all? Well, come to think of it, why not? After all, all the great designers had to start somewhere. Okay, it's a deal. You start today. Carol, would you see to this young lady's details, please? Of course, Mr. Sullivan. Perfect. Now, if it's all right with you, I've got work to do. Clara, it's been a pleasure meeting you. This evening, we're having a cocktail party for the launch of our new cosmetics line, Eclat Ardon. I'll see you there. Thank you so much, Mr. Sullivan. Now we're going to move on to the serious stuff. After being trained in our workshops, I'm going to ask you to work for Style Factory's clients. If your designs are of a high enough standard, your reputation will blossom and you could become fashion's young hope. His mouth is awkward. Okay. Every morning you can have a wander around the company and say hello to your colleagues. Some of them might ask you to do them a few favors and will give you reward in exchange. You can also learn a lot about fashion by looking on the computer in the showroom. There are lots of information files on it and you can take tests that will help you earn tokens. Finally, mornings are a perfect time to do a bit of shopping. If you want to have a look around the shops, get in the limo parked in front of the building and it will take you to the shops. Anyway, as you can see, there's plenty to do at Style Factory. Make the most of it. Go for a walk and whatever else you fancy. As soon as you feel ready to get down to work, go and have a look at the information board in this room. Okay. Who is this guy? Let's... 
talk to him, I guess. Steve Anderson. Sorry, but I haven't got time now. Okay. Yeah, the weird voice. Okay. Uh, before we, uh, do our, uh, do some work, let's go to the 20th floor. Hello, Clara. Would you do me a favor? Of course. Well, the thing is, I'm trying to get together a new book to take around to the fashion houses, but I'm missing a few photos. Which ones? The ones of the clothes I designed at Imagine Fashion Designer. I've got no idea where they are. Do you think you could have a look for them? They must be somewhere around here. I'll try my best, Carol, but I'm not promising anything. How many photos were there? Five. Okay, I'll have a look. Thanks. It's really kind of you. Sorry, but I don't think we've got anything more to say to each other. Okay, so we need to find five photos. Can we go inside? Mr. Nelson's office? Apparently we can! Okay. Ooh! Is that a photo? Ooh, it is! <gasps> There's a cute dog over there! Aww! Sad. We can't pick it up. I've seen that painting somewhere before. Perhaps in an auction house catalog? Clara, have you got a minute? Of course, Mr. Sullivan. Well, I've been in talks with my shareholders about the visual image of Style Factory, and we've decided to change it. What we need is a younger, more dynamic, and eye-catching logo. What do you think? Well, I'm no expert, but... I've got a job for you. We need to make a list of all the Style Factory logos that are visible in the building, so that we can replace them when the time comes. Off the top of my head, I think there are four of them. Could you take care of that? I'll get on it immediately. Great. Come and find me when you're finished. Okay, well, lots of freaking side quests. There's another photo. Yes. Now, let's try and uh, go to the roof from top to bottom. Is that a logo? It is. Okay. I don't think there are photos in here. What fashion show? Logos. Did I say logos? I mean photos. Nope. No photos, so... Let's go... We've already been here in the 20th floor, but yeah, let's still check. I forgot to go to the other rooms. Let's try here. Oh, there's one. Sorry, but I need to finish getting ready. Okay, she sounds like freaking Katarina from League of Legends. Okay, 
Maybe she's the uh, voice actress for Katarina? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's try it here. Okay, how many do we have? Only one left. Wait, that counted? Seriously? Oh, okay. Okay, now let's go to the next floor, which is the 12th floor. I see one logo over there. What does online library do? What? Really? Oh, okay. So we need to freaking take tests. Okay. No, I don't know anything yet. Ooh, there's one. Okay. One more left for the uh, logo. Excuse me, I need to make a call. Come back later. I've got work to do. Okay, um... Let's try the lobby. Okay, there's one. Yay, we've completed it. Oh my god. Okay. Um Yeah, let's go back to our bosses before we uh, do our work. So, have you found the photos? Brilliant! Wow, they really take me back. Imagine fashion designer, the teachers, the drawing lessons. It all seems such a long time ago now. I wonder how the school's doing. I haven't really heard from them since I started my placement. Mr. McAllister updates me every now and again. From what he says, it's been a good year for the Imagine fashion designer. There are some really talented students in the new class, and of course, they all want to get a placement at Style Factory. It's going to be a hard choice. Does Mr. McAllister often visit Style Factory? Almost every day. He gets along really well with Nelson Sullivan. I think they're even planning on creating a brand together for young talents called New Vision or something like that. Imagine Fashion Designer will definitely play a big role in that. Thanks for the scoop, Carol. Well done. For completing this task, you've won two beautiful oriental pendants. One in bronze and the other in chiseled copper. You've also been awarded 50 tokens. Seriously? Tokens? But I want real money. No. Okay, now let's go to Mr. Nelson. I was told you'd found all the logos. Let's have a look. Oh, I think you just might have. Well done, Clara. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. It feels funny replacing this logo. It was me who designed it, you know. Fifteen years ago. Back then, Style Factory was just a small family business that made homemade soap out of beeswax. We were the first to do that in the United States. And fortunately, the customers just snapped them up. Our turnover had gone up five times by the third year. And of course, you know what happened next. So, in the beginning, you didn't make clothes? Not at all. To launch a collection, you need a lot of money. We just didn't have that kind of cash back then. 
It was only years later, thanks to the profits made from our cosmetics line, that we were able to move into the Pret-a-Porter sector. I had no idea. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Well done. For completing this task, you've won two glass pendants, a green and a yellow one. You've also been awarded 50 tokens. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, Mr. Nelson over here started small, which is a good thing. So, let's go back to the lobby and do some work. Okay, this is Style Factory's information board. This is where you choose your new tasks. Okay, as you can see, there's only one task available at the moment. Click on this task. Here are the details of the task you've just chosen. Let's have a closer look at them. It lists the objectives of the design workshop. This information is important. It tells you if you're missing any accessories, clothes, or anything else. But for now, don't worry about it. You've got all you need to complete your task. Now look at the stars to the workshop title. The dark blue stars represent the score you need to get to successfully complete your task. At the bottom of the screen are the tokens and notoriety points you'll win if you complete your task. Okay. Okay, you've just signed your very first contract, but don't get stressed out. We're going to do it together. Okay, let's go to the design workshop. Now, go over to the drawing board and press the spacebar to begin the workshop. Okay. Wait, what? You just need to stand over there. Okay. That logic, though. Welcome to the design workshop. This is where you can put into practice your talents as a fashion designer. Okay, let's look at the objectives button. Always. Right. This is a step-by-step -step guide to what you need to do to successfully complete this workshop. Okay, so we need to have a 3 4 length sleeve dress with a mandarin color. So it's like a Chinese dress. Chinese dress, yes. Open the dress section. To use a garment, you need to drag and drop its icon from the left of your screen onto the model. Okay. I think this is the one, yeah. Well done! Did you notice that your number of stars has just gone up? You found the right dress. Okay. It's fine, but with a few alterations, we can make it even better. Okay. Click on the alterations. Excellent! The dresses that have just appeared on the right of your screen are the main dress alterations. Shorter ones, ones with patterns on, blah blah blah. Okay. We need to have her in short Chinese dress. Short Chinese dress, but still with sleeves. Okay, so we can choose this, but this one, I guess? Yeah, this is the one. Perfect! Now put some silk stockings on her as asked. Okay, stockings. Drag and drop the stockings onto the model. Leggings, pop socks. These are freaking socks. Are these the stockings? What? What? Okay. <laughs> Great, your score is just going up and up. Let's have a look at the list of objectives. Okay. We need to have them red and black. Nothing to change with the shoes. Accessories, no. Patterns and prints, Asian patterns. Okay. Ask for an opinion. When you ask a professional's opinion, they'll let you know how well you've done in each objective. A green tick means good, an orange circle means average, and a red cross means bad. 
Be careful, there's a limit to the number of opinions you can ask for each workshop. Let's see what the professional has to say, okay? The choice of clothes is perfect. However, the choice of patterns and colors is bad. Okay, we haven't chosen anything. So let's put some Asian patterns. Great! Okay. Patterns. Now let's put that into practice. Click on the Asian money pattern. I think this one. Yeah, this one. Great! The pattern has just been applied to your garment. Okay. Red and black. Shade circle. Okay. Dark red. Black on the another on another part of the pattern. Okay. Perfect, you've done a great job. Remember that you can also put color straight onto the pattern on the top right hand side of your screen or on the garment. Okay. Now you know how to do it. Okay, stockings. Good, you'll see that the pattern icon that is currently selected for the stockings is a uniform color. Don't touch this. We're just going to change the color. We're going to change them to black. Okay. Okay, we've successfully done it. <laughs> oh my god, that laugh. Okay, so that was our first task. So we've gained 30 tokens and 6 fame. Okay, let's continue. No, I don't want to freaking quit the game. I hope this won't be... A game only full of tasks but yeah okay beauty workshop yay we get to uh, put makeup on our freaking clients let's go okay so I'm guessing it's on the 12th floor okay Oh my god, she's creepy. She ain't blinking, dude. Welcome to the beauty workshop. Together, we're going to look at how to prepare your model. How to do her makeup and her hair. Are you ready? Okay, objectives. <clears throat> to begin with, let's have a look at the first objective. It says carrot orange lipstick. Okay, carrot orange lipstick. Carrot orange. Yes, yes. I don't have to read the entire thing. Carrot orange. Okay, this one. Excellent. Good choice. Okay, apply the lipstick. We can zoom in and out. And turn. Okay. I get it. Um, let me just... Okay, that's, that's much better. Her eyes are freaking creepy. Because they're not blinking and stuff so let's apply this sorry for all the guys that are watching me or subscribe to me uh, I'm a girl I enjoy this kind of stuff well sometimes so yeah <laughs> okay let's apply the lipstick. Is there any chance you can freaking make a mistake and smudge the lipstick on her face? That happens in real life, so yeah. Perfect! Oh, it does! That's good! It's, it's kind of realistic now. When you go over the edges and you want to rub out any smudged makeup, use the rubber tools 
on the bottom left hand side of your screen. Good, you've completed your first objective. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay. Alright. Make us uh, make up the second objective carrot orange eyeshadow and hazel contact lenses. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, eyeshadow too. Good, now select the carrot orange shade. The carrot orange. Okay, good. She's she's no longer staring at us. Carrot orange. Carrot. Apply. Okay. Oh no, it's... No. It's smudged. No. No. Okay, I think that's... No. I don't think she liked that. It's carrot, right? Okay. Okay. So we really need to have it like this, I guess. Okay. Because I noticed uh, my star decreased <laughs> when I freaking uh, erased just a little of it. So she wants excessive eyeshadow. She wants it dramatic. Okay. I got you, baby. Okay. Great, we'll finish up off the makeover by putting in the colored contact lenses okay okay this one great now select hazel color on the right hazel 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 very good as you can see the contact lenses are applied automatically you've just completed your makeover okay let's go to the hairstyling now you're in the hairstyling section of the beauty workshop before you start, remember that you can go back to the makeup mode whenever you want. Okay, let's get straight to work. You know the first stage. Have a look at the task objectives, okay? Hair. Red hair in an elaborate chignon with ringlets. I don't know how you pronounce this thing over here. Chignon or chignon. I, I prefer calling it chignon. <laughs> It sounds like freaking onion, but yeah. It's kind of like French word, right? Chignon with curls. Low ponytail, bun with the middle parting, bun with hair sticks. Double buns, double buns with hair sticks. Elaborate chignon. Okay, this one. Good, now select a red dye on the right of your screen. Red dye. This one? Okay. Yay, we're done! <laughs> oh, I hate that laugh. Okay, so we've been rewarded 30 tokens and 6 more fame. Let's, let's just finish our uh, training tasks. So that we can move on with the uh, game, I guess. With the story. I hope they have a story. Uh, so far, I'm guessing they have since yeah they were talking about the owner and uh, his son and wife new wife okay for now we're going to uh, train in the jewelry workshop so I'm guessing it's on the 12th floor as well yes it is whoa so many sparkling jewelry Okay. Welcome to the jewelry workshop. Here you can create necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. It's the same technique for all three types of jewelry. First, you apply the support that is the string, then you add the beads. Okay. Before starting, always check your objectives. Good, that doesn't look too complicated. 
there's only a necklace to do, no bracelets or earrings, and the string only needs to have one silver pendant encrusted with diamonds on it. Okay. On the left are the supports. That's where you choose the material or color of the strings you're going to use. Gold, silver, white, cotton. And the beads are on the right. Okay. Silver. This one. Good! Transparent locations have appeared. They show you where you can place the necklaces. Now click on the first location starting from the top down to the place of the neck. Wait, what? To the top down to place the necklace. Okay. This one? Perfect! You've just placed a silver necklace. Necklace. Okay, but remember only to use silver and diamonds. Okay. The beads are organized into four main themes, costume, ethnic, princess, classic. Then they're organized into bead shapes. To choose one, click on the items icons on the top right hand side. Once you've chosen the theme and shape, you just need to select a bead, okay? Practical part. Princess tab. Excellent. Okay, there are several silver and diamond pendants. The choice is yours. Okay, precious stones. Ah, uh, diamonds only, right? Good choice. As you can see, bead locations have appeared on the silver string. To place your pendant, click on the location right in the middle of the string. Um, I don't know where the middle is, but... Is this the one? I think this is the middle. Well done! You've successfully completed your mission. Okay, if you want to remove a string or a bead you've placed on the string, tweezers tool. You just need to use the tweezers tool. Okay. Okay. Yay, we're done! <laughs> Okay, we've earned 30 more tokens again, plus 6 fame. So let's continue. Okay, catwalk, wow. Okay. Yeah, I remembered we went to the roof for the catwalk, so let's go there. Now you can admire your model while she takes part in a fashion show. Uh oh, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> you don't need to direct your model. Sometimes the model will try and strike a pose or do a turn. You need to help her with this. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> Here we are. Your model is about to strike a pose. Now you need to take charge. As you can see, a series of buttons have just appeared. On your keyboard, you need to press all the buttons in the series, one after the other, from left to right. There's no point in hurrying, just follow the indicator, the pink circle that is currently on the first icon. Okay. So, whenever the pink stuff... stuff... Whenever the pink circle pops out, you just have to press the uh, following uh, button. Okay. Good! You've just managed to strike your first pose you can now take a photo of your model to do that just press the space bar okay wait that that was your posing really okay whatever Uh, I just want this to end. It's freaking awkward. 
but I enjoy this kind of game. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Okay, good, we're done. <laughs> that was awkward. Oh my god. Okay, choose the photos that you want to put in your book. Ah, well, that's nice. I want that one, this one, this one, this one. She looks like she's, I don't know, she's gonna fall over. <laughs> this one. Maybe this one. We're done! Yay! Okay. Great! Now that you know how to direct a model on a catwalk, the first... The world's top fashion shows will be at your feet to undertake a new task. Okay. Okay, we already know that. Okay, one more training to go. Okay, photography. I think... Yeah. 20th. Welcome to the photo workshop. You will need to take your camera and photograph your model. You're currently on the camera and scenery settings page. Like with the other workshops, the first thing you need to do is find out what the task objective is. This information is permanently displayed at the top of your screen. Okay, so you need to take one or several series of five photos, always bearing in mind the displayed objective. Okay. Let's start with the first series and have a look at the objective. Two vertical photos with a sepia filter in a lush scenery. Portrait composition. Okay. The first instruction is for two photos and yet I've just told you that you need to take five photos per series. Funny, eh? Actually, it's very simple. What they mean is that at the end of the workshop, you should choose the two best photos out of the five photos you've taken and bin the other three. Yeah, that's usually what photographers in real life do as well. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Vertical. Filters. Sepia. Background. The lush. Lush background. Okay, we need it. Okay, with cherry trees. Okay. Okay, we need to take a portrait photo okay portrait I don't know if that's portrait but whatever right perfect you've just taken your first photo but did you take a portrait shot as requested if you didn't don't worry just remember that from the five photos you're going to take you only have to keep two of them the others will be binned Okay. This is kind of awkward, but yeah, it's photography. She'd be like, talk to the hand. <laughs> okay. I think we're done. Good. Now you're going to move on to the next series. What? Really? Okay. Read the new objective carefully. I'll leave you to adjust your own settings. Okay. Three horizontal photos. So we needed landscape. Black and white filter. Black and white. Green and grassy background. Okay. We 
head and shoulders composition. This is green and grassy, right? Or do you want me to change it for you? Let's change it. This one, this is kind of green. Head and shoulders, but I don't know, dude. Green and grassy. This is green and grassy. So, okay. Head and shoulders. She wanted freaking head and shoulders. Um, why would you po freaking post like that? I don't know if that's head and shoulders, but yeah. What? She blinked! Dude! <laughs> okay. I don't want your posing. Okay, maybe that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're done. Good. Just just let let's let this end. Oh my god. Two vertical photos, sepia filter green. Okay. Two vertical photos. Um I want this one and yeah, this one. Three horizontal photos. I want this one and this one and maybe this one. She was blinking, but it looked kind of perfect for me. Okay. Okay, we almost got it perfect. You can see the mark you were given for each photo by clicking on it and holding down the mouse button. Okay, we're, we're good with the composition over here. What about this one? We're good with this. What about this? Good. This. Oh no, she, she didn't like it. Maybe I think it shouldn't be full body. I'm guessing. Okay, now I know. <laughs> Okay, we're done. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to uh, do more of this. Okay, so we don't have a cotton bustier. Bustier or bustier. Jeans with leather chaps and a fur and leather coat. Okay, let's not do that yet, but let's go to the shop and buy some uh, stuff. Okay, time for a shopping spree. Have your tokens at the ready. Now's the time to extend your wardrobe, jewelry box, and makeup kit. Come on! <laughs> Oh my god. Here's where you can swap. Oh my god. Ah, uh, my, my throat has dried up. Here's where you can swap the tokens you've won for new clothes, accessories, jewelry, or makeup products for your future workshops. Okay, we don't have to read that. Okay, so it's telling us to go there. Different types, blah blah blah, dresses. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 we get to buy stuff. So we don't have a cowboy hat, apparently. So let's buy that. And we don't have boots, I think. But let's buy that. But yeah, 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 let's go to the clothes. Is this cotton busty? Yes, it is. Let's buy that. A uh, leather jacket. So I'm guessing we already have a fur coat jacket. Yeah. We need chaps, right? Chaps. Okay, this one. Um, what more do we need? Strapless bra. <laughs> okay. Leather jacket. I want to buy this one. Let's buy that one. With this shade, 
let's buy this. It's only five tokens, so why not? Bright red, pink. I want pink. Okay, let's buy that. Oh no! We run out of freaking... Okay. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Wait, what color is this? Bright red. Okay. Let's, let's, let's end our shopping. We became too shopaholic. Okay, let's do that, uh, task. Cinema Wild West. The film studio order a costume for the heroine of a TV series set in the Wild West. Okay. Now let's go to the 20th and design workshop. Okay, it's Zhang Li. My dear, your boss, Mr. Sullivan, has warmly recommended you. It would seem that you're the ideal candidate to design the costume of the character I'm going to play. I hope you know your stuff when it comes to cowboys. Wink wonk, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so let's first, let's always check the objective. So clothes, we need cotton bustier, jeans with leather chaps, and a fur and leather coat. Fur and leather coat. Okay, cotton. Cotton. So I'm guessing this is already... We ha Maybe it's an alteration. I'm not sure. Okay, alteration. Sequined. Cotton! Okay! Okay, good. What about prints? Do you want it printed? Okay, no patterns in prints. Okay, gotcha. What color do you want? Color brick or burnt sienna. Okay. Oh, I don't want I don't want your info, dude. Burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. About this one. I want this kind of color. Maybe this one will do. And then for the jacket, fur, fur and leather coat. Okay. We have alterations though. Do cowboys wear long... Uh... I don't know. Why the heck not? Okay, let's do that. And still burnt sienna. Let's make it darker, I guess. What about that color? Do you want that color or that color? Let's try this one. For the pants, she's asking for chaps. So I'm guessing this one. No, not that one. This one. And this one, right? Low rise jeans with protective chaps. Color you want? Maybe this one? Oh no, not freaking green. Dude, I didn't click on that. I didn't mean to click on that. I want this kind of color. Okay, um... Okay. Next. Black or brown boots. Okay, accessories. Blah 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 blah. I don't need that. Boots. Is this boot? Okay. They are freaking ankle boots. Does that count? Let's try the longer boot. No, she didn't like that. She wants the ankle boots. Okay, let's do it with brown. What about Okay, cowboy hat. You want a cowboy hat. This one. Then brown. Wait! Why only have... 
Oh no. Do we need to change the freaking color of our... Wait. Um, I think she's okay with that color. To be honest. Uh, let's try... The boots, maybe? I don't know. Where's the long boot? No, it's still half. Okay, yeah, she she wanted the she wanted the uh, long boots. Okay, I think we're done. I guess uh, that color of the leather jacket like, it's kind of bugging me. I want it darker. Do we have any darker colors? This is kind of red, but uh, no. Okay, this is much better, I think. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Yay! 50 tokens and 12 fame. We got items too. Ultra high-rise jeans and I don't know what this is. Uh, more skirt, I guess. I think you must have spent a lot of your childhood watching westerns on television. <laughs> if you know what I mean, just me. It's plain to see that you're an expert in this area. Uh, thank you! How come you're not dressed yet? Nelson Sullivan's waiting for us! What for? The cocktail party, of course. Oh, I completely forgot! It's been a lot to take on for a first day. Hurry up and don't forget your book. Nelson wanted to have a look at it. I'm coming. I'll just be a sec. Dear friends, we are gathered here this evening to celebrate the launch of a new line of cosmetics that will undoubtedly allow us to increase our stakehold in the under-25 market. Eclat Ardent, as it is known, is a revolution in the world of teenage cosmetics. We owe this success to Kim Doherty, the director of our cosmetics department. I would very much like to congratulate her here today. Thank you, thank you. I'm very flattered. Look at Scott Sullivan. He looks as if he's sulking. I told you those two don't get along. Okay. My book is in my inventory. Okay. It's amazing, Carol. Ever since I arrived at Style Factory, I feel like any minute now I'm going to wake up. Just look at the dresses, the dinner jackets, the jewelry. It's beautiful. Even the champagne tastes better here. Nelson Sullivan is a born show-off. It's just the way he is. When he organizes an event like this, he doesn't cut corners. But I must admit that the thrill of it soon wears off. I'm fed up with eating caviar and listening to the same old tunes. Hey, you wouldn't want to do me a favor, would you? What? Change the record. The stereo's just over there. I feel like something a bit more romantic. Are you sure I'm allowed? Of course, no one will notice. And if you choose a song I like, I'll let you in on the latest Style Factory gossip. Well, if there's a reward thrown in. By the way, while I remember, here's my cell phone number. It might come in handy. Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay, okay, there's the stereo. Let's change it. Romantic, okay. So, what song shall I put on? So, what track shall I put on? Maybe this one? Okay, I'm gonna go for that one. Let's hope it's good. Ooh. Sounds like it's sexy time. <laughs> Thanks, Clara. That's exactly the type of music I felt like. You're welcome. True to my word, I promise to let you in on a secret. Well, here it is. Do you know what the rumor going around Style Factory is? No, I'm all ears. You probably know that Nelson Sullivan's first wife, Jessica Wooden, died in a car accident. Or at least that's how the story goes. 
Well, the rumor is that actually she was murdered. <gasps> By who? I'm blaming Kim. Just kidding. No I don't way. Know. Maybe. Does Nelson know? Probably no. Uh, no. I don't think so. And remember, not a word of this to anyone. It could cost me my job. Hehehe. <laughs> Let's do that. No worries, Carol. You can count on me. I wanna, I wanna spread the news, dude. If it costs your job, then I can replace you. <laughs> I'm so evil. Good evening. You're not. Steve Anderson. Yes. Do I know you? No, I'm sure you don't. I'm just starting a work placement at Style Factory. But I've seen all your films. You're a great actor. I loved you, and I'll be dead tomorrow. Thanks. That's sweet of you to say so. Nico Samadeus is just jealous. He said I stole the limelight from him, even though I only had a supporting role in the film. It must be amazing to be an actor. It's tiring too. People don't realize how exhausting fame can be. All that signature signing, the celebrity parties, and the high society dinners—not to mention all those girls chasing around after you. Sometimes I fantasize about being just another face in the crowd. But let's talk about you. So, you work for Style Factory? Not yet. I'm just on a placement. It's a start. Well, if you ever need any advice or helpful tips, I'll leave you my cell phone number. Don't think twice about calling me. Ooh, he's giving us. His contact number. Thanks. It's really kind of you. So, Clara, chatting up my boyfriend now, are you? Wait, what? Dude, he's your boyfriend. Your boyfriend? See, even Clara's shocked. Yes, Steve and I've been engaged for two months now. You see, sweetie, fashion design is the path to happiness. Well, not every time. Wow. Steve, will you leave my friend alone? She just got here, and you're already all over her. But she was the one who came up to me. Okay, I'll let you off this time. I'm guessing she's engaged to Steve, but Steve's kind of like a playboy, <laughs> so they always argue. Well, since she, she's telling right now. Okay, I'll let you off this time. Maybe they argue a lot. Seems like. They do, so... Okay. You know what? I'm not into Playboy, so... Go F yourself, F yourself, Steve. Good evening, Clara. How nice to see you again. Well, it would seem your work placement has got off to a good start. Yes, I'm really pleased about it. The launch of the new cosmetics collection will generate a lot of work for everyone. Now's your chance to show what you're made of. I hope I'm good enough. Of course you are. I don't doubt it for one minute. Mr. McAllister, may I ask you a question? Fire away, Clara. What's Scott Sullivan's relationship with his father like? They don't seem to get along very well. Yes, things are a bit tense between them. Nelson has a very open and generous nature that clashes with his son's more introverted personality. And Kim's presence doesn't help matters. Scott hates her. That can't be easy on a day-to-day -day basis. You need to know that so you don't go and put your foot in it. But don't pay too much attention to the rumors going around. The main thing is your work. That's where you need to focus your attentions. Thanks for the advice, Mr. McAllister. I'll remember that. By the way, here's my cell phone number. If you need anything, I need money. <laughs> That's really kind of you. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, Mr. McAllister looks like he's rich. So give me months. Mun muns. Ooh, kiwi juice. Can you grab I'm this? I'm not gonna sit by myself no. in the corner. Imagine how that would look. Really? Ugh, Clara. Ooh, there they are. Let's talk to Scott first, I think, I guess. Maybe. Good evening, Scott. Huh? I hope I'm not disturbing you. Who are you again? Oh, yes, the new trainee. Yes, I started... Listen, I don't know what you want from me, but I assure you you've come to the wrong person. Everyone at Style Factory will tell you. I don't respond well to flattery and smooth talkers. 
Oh my god, chill, dude, chill. But I just wanted to... Introduce yourself? Well, you've done it. Now, if you want to make yourself useful, go and get me a kiwi juice. It's horribly hot in this room. Dad, do you want a drink? Really? You could be a bit nicer to Clara, Scott. What's she done to you? Thank you for asking, darling. Yes, I'd love a pineapple juice. Oh, sorry, I skipped that part so that's a kiwi juice for you a raspberry juice for mr nelson and a pineapple juice for mrs doherty i'll be right back fudge i thought i i can drink that freaking kiwi juice that i saw back there turns out it's for mr douchebag over there douchebag blondie okay Hopefully that's pineapple. Yes, it is. So let's mix them, I guess. Yes. Okay. Now let's give this to Mr. Scott. Thanks. What? No ice? Kiwi juice is supposed to be served chilled. Ugh. I'm sorry, Mr. Sullivan. I can go and get you some if you like. No, this will do. Anyway, I'm not thirsty anymore. You must think I'm a bit strange, huh? No, Mr. Sullivan. A lot of my friends are artists. And artists are all prima donnas. Yes, I know what people say. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. My mother died just over two years ago. But th that's not a secret. Everyone knows it. <laughs> I'm really sorry to hear that. What? Okay, so they made an error uh, with this dialogue. <laughs> Why would you say sorry to yourself? It completely turned my world on end. Nothing's how it used to be. I don't know if you can understand what I mean, but I just seem to have lost all interest in life. That must be terrible. But I can see I'm boring you. No, not at all. I... Anyway, good night. I should never have told you that. What an unusual guy. I know, right? What now? Can't you just leave me be? Okay. Calm your tits. Raspberry juice for you. Thank you, Clara. You've been very helpful. I'm sure we're going to get along famously. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself. At Style Factory, we aim to give everyone the role they're most suited to. Being able to match tasks to skills, that's the secret of our success. I'm still a student, Mr. Sullivan. I haven't got a huge amount of work experience. Have you tried your hand at designing? Oh, yes. I've been designing clothes all my life. I've been making dresses for my older sister since I was six. Well, if you like, I'll show you my book. Some of my designs are quite good. That's a good idea. Come and show me your book when you get a moment. Clara, so are you having a good evening? That's a weird smile, though. <laughs> okay. And a pineapple juice for Miss Kim Kardashian. Kidding. Thank you, Clara. It's very kind of you. At least we know we can rely on you, and that's an invaluable quality in our world. There's very few people who you can really trust, you know. All I did was get you a drink. That's irrelevant. I've got enough experience to tell from the offset if I can trust someone. That's how I hire my staff, by gut instinct. Believe me, it's the only way. I'm sure you're right, Kim. Trust me, I've got plenty of experience. Well, have a good evening, Clara. Enjoy yourself. She looks grumpy. To your health, Clara, and to your future success at Style Factory. That's much better. You should be smiling always, I guess. But not Mr. Nelson. <laughs> he looks creepy when he smiles. Okay, we need to show him our book. So here it is. Let's have a look. Hmm, not bad. I need to have a better look at this. 
Who knows? Perhaps we could use some of your designs in our next collection. That would be an honor, sir. A real honor. Okay, so we're done with the... What do you call it? We're done with the uh, cutscenes and stuff. I don't know what to do next. Um, let's just earn tokens, I guess. Pink soiree. Okay, light foundation, pink blusher. Okay, we're all complete with the uh, requirements, so let's do that. Also, we need to give her a uh, photography. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Clara. As you know, I've been invited to a celebrity soiree. You know the kind of thing. What's worse is that they want to put my photo on the invitation cards. Just so that you know, the party's theme is the rose. I'm relying on you. Okay. So, objectives... Light foundation. We need her to be in light foundation. Is this... Is this light enough for you? Okay. Okay, let's do this one. What's this? The current layer. Oh, okay. You know, I want your eyes closed. It's creepy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's just give her the lightest so that she won't complain. Can I put something in her eye? <laughs> Lol. I can put something on her uh, freaking lips. Okay, so let's make sure it's well coded. Okay, she looks too white, but whatever. She wanted it. Okay, I'm guessing we're done with the face uh, foundation, so what's next? Pink blusher and lipstick. Okay, pink blusher. Uh, okay, pink. Fuchsia, salmon, beige, pink. Okay, this one. Let's zoom in. Okay, I'm terrible with applying blush on, so f please forgive me. Okay, so I guess that's Oh god, you look horrible. <laughs> is it is it my makeup skills or it's just you? Oh god, whatever. Pink, okay. She wants everything in pink. She feels like she's Barbie. Oh no, it's smudged. No! Fudge! 
I just fudge. No, I didn't mean that. Okay. Let's delete this part and then put on some of this. Okay, much better. Oh my god. I got nervous for a while. I thought I was going to repeat everything. Dude, it keeps on freaking smudging. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. If it smudges, I don't care. Oh, but it looks so cringy. Well, this game is kind of cringy. But. Okay. <laughs> it still looks weird. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. No. Just. Oh god. Okay. I guess that's better compared to a while ago. So let's apply this one over here. Okay. I guess that's fine. <laughs> Next one. Sequence. Sequence. This one? Okay, the sequence tool works in exactly the same way as the lipstick tools, only the difference being that it does not contain different shades. Apply sequence directly to the face. Okay. Let's apply sequence to everywhere. I hope she won't get mad. Okay, we're done with the sequence. Pink colored stickers, okay. Once you have selected a sticker from the list on the right, apply to the model's face by simply clicking on the area where you'd like to put it. Okay. So she wants pink colored stickers. Is this pink? It has black on it. Okay, not that. Hey, what? Any stickers, right? Okay, as long as it's pink. Okay, I want this heart. Is it pink? I'm not even sure if it's freaking pink. Okay, whatever, it's pink. Are there any more pink stuff? I don't think so. Okay, next. I don't think she liked it. Let's not do that. Um, let's try other pink stickers. Ooh, what about this one? Okay, much better, I guess. <laughs> but it's still the same. Okay, she wants pink eyeshadow, pink or purple contact lenses, pink fake lashes. Okay, eyeshadow pink. Okay.
Okay, uh, pink contact lenses? No. Eyelashes. Oh, it's a great thing. I bought a pink eyelash. Where is it? This one. Yeah. Costed me like, I forgot, five tokens or I think 15. So purple. Is this purple? Pale purple. Gray. Um, I think we're good with the uh, contacts. Yeah, we're we're good with the contacts. Next, any hairstyle, rose colored. Okay. <laughs> this one, that's creepy, but okay. Let's choose other uh, hairstyles. What about... I don't know. Oh god, she looks like an alien. Mm. Okay, uh, let's just do that. <laughs> Next. Is that even rose-colored? Wait, okay, we only have that hair color. So let's go to the nails filed. It needs to be filed, pink nail varnish, pink nail stickers, and sequins. Nail, nail, nail polish, manicure. Okay, we need it trimmed. Okay, pink. Oh god, too many pinks. Oh god, look at her finger. Is that your f freaking skin? Oh my god. Um, I don't think I can erase the uh, smudges. Uh, wait, I can. Okay. Okay. I'm trying my best not not to freaking smudge the uh, varnish, but it just does. Okay, um, whatever.
Okay. I guess we're done with the nail, so let's apply... S no. Let's apply stickers first, I guess. Stickers, right? Yeah, pink nail stickers. Yeah. Flowers. Pink flowers. Okay, this one. Oh god. Ew, it looks ugly. Okay. Next. Okay, and then... Sequence. Oh no, we're only half a star. At the last part. Oh my god, I don't I don't know what's wrong. Sequence, rose color, no tattoo. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> Do we lack stickers? Well, it looks like it lacks stickers, but Okay, let's let's try adding more stickers. No, nothing happens. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's check. Our missions. Oh, where is it? This one, mission journal. Okay, current mission. Yeah, we need to do this one. Hey, it's her. <laughs> I love the makeup you've done for me. Now you just need to take a few photos of me. Two or three portraits should do it. Okay. First photo should. So she wants it. Three vertical photos. No filter. No filter. Okay, with a background in shades of pink. This one, maybe? Wait, do we have other pink background? I don't think so. This isn't pink. It's more of a yellowish pink. No, this isn't pink. No, this is kind of red. Okay, let's go with the uh, cherry blossom. Okay, portrait composition. Okay. Is that portrait? I'm not sure. <laughs> But yeah, let's just take five photos. Oh no! Didn't mean to do that. Why would- Okay, whatever. You know what, whatever. Show off your freaking Botox. Botox buttocks. No! Uh, I already took photo of that posing. What about this one? I think I did. I don't know. She'd be like, talk to the hand. I don't like that posing of yours. Maybe this one. Okay. Okay. Um, three vertical photos. This one I want. Mm, this one, maybe. And... Uh, I don't know. Uh, 
this one? Okay. No! What's wrong? Oh no, it's not portrait enough. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Yay, we're done! We gained items, so that's great. Well done, Clara. Thanks to you, my face was printed on more than 2,000 invitation cards. What an honor. Wow. You don't, ha you don't have to say that. I'm not interested. <laughs> Bitchy Clara. Okay. Stunning set of jewels. Okay, let's do that. So... We're complete with the uh, requirements. Oh my god, six silver necklaces. Seriously? Oh my god. I think that's hard. Oh god. Ah, oh, shoot. Clara, we're seriously behind in preparation of our next fashion show. I need you to design a piece of jewelry. What I want is simple. It needs to be luxurious, breathtaking, and dazzling. Okay. Okay, you want six silver necklaces. So meaning all of this stuff over here. Four, five, six. Okay. Next. Half filled with silver beads and crusted with diamonds. So I'm guessing this one. Beads. You want beads. Are these beads? No. What about this one? No. Um, this one? Okay, let's put this in the middle. Is that the middle? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Let's put it here. Okay, and then let's place... Um, not costume, classic. Wait, what do you want? Beads with diamonds, emeralds, or sapphires. Oh, this is a bead. Okay, let's... This is diamond, but... Okay, let's remove that. Let's, let's replace that with this. Can I even... Remove. Oh, she didn't like it. She liked the uh, first one. Okay, let's... Place that back. And then... These are beads, right? Uh, what do you want exactly? I, I'm not sure if you want pearls. Oh no, she didn't like that. So I'm guessing we'll stri strictly stick with the princess. So... Okay, let's place some in this. Oh god. No. No! Dude. Do you even want this kind of color? Oh, she didn't like it. No, she doesn't like this color. Okay. Half filled, right? Ew, it's not- Oh god. Really? Wait. I'm sorry guys, it might take me some time. <laughs> Oh wait, she didn't like it? No, she did. She did like it. Okay, last. It's halfly filled, right? It's already half filled.
Okay, she wanted that. No. Oh god, she didn't she didn't like that. I think we need to remove this one too. Okay. Next next layer. Ooh, silver. Mm. I don't know what to place. Um What about this one? It looks weird, but whatever. What does this look like? Oh, this one looks better, I think. Okay. Then let's place these. No! Oh, oh my god, no. Okay. Uh, here? Okay, she liked it, apparently. Stop breathing. You're giving me a hard time. No! What? Seriously? Oh my god. Okay. Um... Maybe? Ew, that looks... Meh. I can't place it on the edge. Damn. Okay, let's remove that. Okay, we're done with that. So... Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's place this one. Then, yeah, more, more of these. I guess. Ew. Okay. Uh, they're too far apart. Oh my god. Oh no, she didn't like it. Yeah, it should be half filled only. So let's remove these. Okay, next. Oh, uh, this is so, 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 so frustrating. Oh, dude, they have green ones too. I forgot. Mm. What if we use this one? Okay, she liked it. So let's use this one. Too many dangling, dangly, dangly stuff. I don't, I don't like it. Um, you know what? Let's do this. No. Okay. I need to remove it first. Okay. She likes it. Wait, what? What happened? She didn't like it? Okay, she didn't like too much. Okay, that's fine, I guess. And then next... Uh, I don't know, dude. Yeah, let's stick with this. Okay, apparently she likes it, so... 
Oh god, no. Okay, much better. Okay. <laughs> I know it looks weird, but I don't know what to do anymore, so... Let's just stick with that. Let's just wing it. Okay. You know, let's put these. No, ew, it's ugly. It's so ugs. Uh, what if we stick with this one again, but with green? With green on the first. Yeah. No. Okay, so yeah, they're half filled. Unless you want me to fill everything. Okay, she doesn't mind, but we'll keep it that way. Okay, next. Three silver bracelets. Okay, silver. One, two, three. Oh my god, okay. Encrusted with diamonds, silver beads. Okay, the same stuff. So let's place this here. Let's place this here. Let's place this here. Are these diamonds interlaced silver setting? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do this one. Alternate colors. You know what? Oh my god. Let's fill this up. Looks ugly. <laughs> if it's not freaking alternate, but whatever. Okay. Maybe it's just me. I don't wear too much jewelry. I only wear simple earrings and bracelets. And yeah, I'm good to go with that. So, well, so far she likes it. So, okay. Next one, last but not the least, earrings, silver clips. Silver beads, okay, still the same. Are these silver beads? Wait. Silver. Okay, there you go. Do you want that kind of earrings? Uh, she kind of does and doesn't at the same time. So let's try other, uh... What if we try this set of diamonds? Okay, nothing happens, but okay. Okay, we're done. So let's end. <laughs> Shut up, game. <laughs> okay, we gained two necklaces. Necklace template, I guess. Clara, I knew I could rely on you. You've exceeded my expectations. The whole team is very grateful to you. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Okay. More missions to do. 
spy film. Okay. Beauty. Okay, we already have those requirements, so let's start. Wait, is it supposed to be in the beauty workshop? Wait, wait a minute. Oh my god. Okay, let's try. Yes, it is in the beauty workshop. Okay. Clara, I've heard you're really gifted when it comes to jewelry. Some knowledge about the world of espionage would be another feather to your bow. I'm relying on you. Okay. Objectives. You want peach or copper sun foundation. Do we have peach? Well, this is light. Peach. Okay, let's stick with the peach. Oh my god, it's too zoomed in. Okay, let's apply. I love her skin color, by the way. It's not too pale, not too dark, just balance. Kinda. I don't know. I'm, I'm pale, so maybe that's why I like her skin tone. done with the uh, foundation next any type of blusher okay let's stick with the uh, I don't want you wearing rose quartz but let's try yeah let's try velvety peach since uh, your skin color is peach it's not that visible, but it'll do, I guess. You said any, so... Okay, you can't complain. Next! Orange lipstick. Okay, only orange lipstick. Oh my god, did it smudge? It looks like it smudged. Um, I don't know if it's smudged or not. You know what? Let's try and fix that no it's it's really like that so I guess we're done with the lipstick okay. yeah it's just really like that it's pixelated so it's hard to tell any eyeshadow okay I want you to wear... Do we have brown eyeshadow? Oh, well, we kind of do. I want to give you this one. Oh god. 
Whatever. Okay, next. Any contact lenses? Do we have red? <laughs> you know what? You're a spy, right? I'm going to give you that kind of eye color. Okay, next. No tattoo. Hair, ponytail, or long, bouncy hair. Long bouncy hair. Is this bouncy for you? It's straightened. Oh, she didn't like that one. Okay, let's stick with the ponytail. I want you blonde. Uh, maybe this will do. Um. That's that looks weird. I want this one, okay. Next. Oh no, varnish. Manicure. Do we need to Yeah, we need to file it. Ah. Gosh darn it. Applying a uh, freaking nail polish on the thumb always smudges. Okay, that's fine. No. Okay, is it done? Okay, no stickers. Let's check. Okay, we're done. Oh. 
and I think it has a continuous mission. It's a continuous mission, so okay, we get to freaking dress her up as a spy. Uh, okay, my dear girl, your colleagues have been singing your praises as a costume designer. I hope I wasn't wrong to call you. Oh, what? Call on your services. I'd like you to dress me up as a secret agent. Okay. Leather bustier. Leather. Is this leather? I don't know. I don't think so. So let's try this one. Is this leather? Is this leather? It's sequined. Fishnet, backless. We don't have alterations for that, so this is this is a waistcoat. So I don't think that's the one. So this is backless. Um what about this one? No. So I'm guessing we don't have leather. Okay, maybe this one. Maybe that one will do. Yeah, this one will do. What color do you want it? Dark red or black? Okay. Mid length, slim fitting skirt. So you want to wear a skirt. This one? Okay, that one. And then. Leather jacket. Okay. a leather jacket right yes it is okay what more do you want shoes black or red leather boots Okay, I want that red and then black or red designer glasses. No, I want it black. Oh god. Okay, now on to the colors. I want this one black. Yes, and this one red. Is this red, deep red, dark red, bright red? This one? Is this red? Okay, let's stick with. Oh my god. Let's let's stick with freaking dark red. Okay. For your uh, what do you call this? Skirt, black. Okay, I guess we're done. I don't know. Anything else? Silk gloves. You want silk gloves. Black. Yay, we perfected it! Oh my god, I don't want to remove here. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Kim Doherty had asked me along to the public launch of the new makeup line Eclat Ardent, but as I walked into the press room, I immediately sensed something was wrong. What do you mean you've lost the lipsticks? Are you serious? I'm sorry, Mrs. Doherty. I don't know what happened. All five lipsticks were here earlier. Uh, can I help? 
Perfect timing, Clara. I'm surrounded by idiots. The launch for the Eclat Ardant line is about to start in 20 minutes and the lipsticks have disappeared. I've got nothing to do Monica's makeup with. Can you look for the samples? I haven't got time. Leave it to me, Mrs. Doherty. You can count on me. Okay, but be quick. There are five tubes ranging from red to light pink. They're one-offs. I'm on it. Oh, while I remember, here's my cell phone number. Keep me posted. I will, Mrs. Doherty. Promise. Well, she's a grumpy woman. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a bag over there. Can we, uh, look at it? I think it's her bag, so... I don't want, I don't want her seeing me. Hello? Um... Okay, here we go. I don't believe it! There's a tube of Eclat Ardant in Kim's See? bag! Oh my god. Didn't she realize? What shall she I dumb. do? Should I tell her? Um, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> She's a grumpy biatch, so she'll get more grumpy if you do that. I'd better keep quiet. She'll only get annoyed otherwise. I'm gonna try and take the lipstick without her seeing. Wait a minute. <laughs> Okay, okay, go, go, go. Whew. No one will ever know, but Good. it was a close call. I've got one tube of lipstick. Now, I just need to find the others. Okay. Can we talk to the model? I feel bad for her. Sorry, but I need to finish getting ready. Really? Okay. Let's inspect the whole area before we, uh... There's a dog toy over there. Before we uh, go to other places. Let's try the balcony. <gasps> this is freaking Marty. No! Get back here! Oh my god, you mangy dog. Maybe Carol can help? I don't know. Hello, Clara. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Mrs. Doherty asked me to look for her Eclat Ardant samples. They've disappeared. Well, it certainly wasn't me. Don't tell anyone, but I don't much like the new lipsticks. Okay, I don't think there are lipsticks in here. So that's the dog toy was for. It's for the, the, the freaking dog. Maybe he's biting on a freaking lipstick. Ew. Dude. That's disgusting. Hey, that dog's got something in his mouth. Come here, you. Now I see what it is. It's a lipstick. Give that to me. Ew. Whoa, he's a bit fierce. How am I going to get that lipstick off him? Me? I already know, Clara. Give her the dog toy. Or him. Boo! It's got Marty. it. Actually, that little dog wasn't as fierce as all that. There's another tube. Now I just need to find the other three. Okay. Uh, let's try going into the beauty workshop. Maybe. Okay, we got red carmine. Carmine, carmine. Orange. And mauve. Malve, Malve, whatever. Um. Let's try going to the freaking design room. Oh, fudge. It's locked. Why? Shoot, the door's locked. Who'd have the key? Um, maybe Clara again? Clara. I mean Carol. Oh god. I'm- I'm confused. <laughs> okay, maybe Scott knows stu no stuff? Uh... Excuse me, Mr. Sullivan. I'm looking for the key to the design workshop. 
Do you really think I've got time to concern myself with a bunch of keys? There are 322 offices in this building. Really? Oh god, you're so grumpy. I hate you. Fine, let's go ask Clara. Clara. Carol. I always mix the two up. Maybe because their names both start with letter C. Hi, I'm looking for the key to the design workshop. You should ask McAllister. He's scatty enough to have put it in his pocket. Fudge you! Oh my god. Really? Fine. We're the fudge. Let's call him. Hello, is this Mr. McAllister? Clara Willard speaking. Hello, Clara. Nice to hear from you. Are you at Sullivan Style Factory today? Yes, I'm in the jewelry workshop. Come and join me if you like. Okay, see you soon. Oh, thank goodness we have the phone number. Okay, let's go. Wow, jewelry galore! This is a real Aladdin's cave. I don't know if I'll be able to find anything in here. Hello, Mr. McAllister. I'm looking for the key to the design workshop. The key? Um, uh, hold on, I might have it. Oh yes, I put it in my pocket. I'm so absent-minded. Here you are. Thank you. I'll bring it back to you later. No need. Just leave it in the lock. Otherwise, I'll probably just go and forget it again. Okay. Do we have to do anything in the freaking design workshop? I don't know. It should be easier with the key. Okay. Oh, so, is there anything interesting in here? Bingo! There's another lipstick. I've only got two more left to find. Oh my, my god, I don't know where the... Oh, where the other two are. Shoot! Try it in here. Uh, let's try the boxes first. Okay, nothing. Oh, sorry. Am I disturbing you? Not at all, but I'm in a hurry. I've got a photo shoot in 10 minutes. Hey, that lipstick. It's an Eclat Ardent. Kim Jordy is turning the building upside down looking for the samples. Well, I'm sorry for the boss, but I still need it. The magazine Dolce Girl is expecting our photos this afternoon. Are you sure that color goes with your makeup? Well, a deep red would go better, but I couldn't find one. Hold on a sec. I'll find you one. I think Thanks. I have one. Where can I get a hold of some other lipsticks? There might be some in the beauty workshop. We already did. So, mission accomplished? Uh, this one, maybe? Yes, that's exactly the shade I was after. It's a deal. You give me that lipstick, and I'll give you the other one. Excellent, there you go. Yet another tube. I've only got one more left to find. Just hang in there, sister. You're on the right track. I haven't got time. I've got a fashion show starting in two minutes. Okay. Uh, I don't know where the other one is. Oh God, I have to find everywhere. I don't think it's in Mr. Nelson's office. Okay, yeah, it's locked. Let's try the basement. I don't know.
An old and dusty card machine? I can't do anything with that for now. Hello, Clara. It's good to see you again. Mrs. Doherty asked me to look for her Eclat Ardant samples. They've disappeared. I don't know anything about that. Anyway, my makeup artists are certainly not to blame. No, it's not in here. Uh, uh, let's try the roof. I don't think they'll be freaking leaving lipsticks in here. It will definitely melt. No. I thought so. Uh... Maybe in Scott's office? I'm not sure. Maybe I overlooked it or what? Um, I don't think. Uh, no. No lipstick. No sign of lipstick. Yes? Mrs. Doherty asked me to look for her Eclat Ardan samples. They've disappeared. And what am I supposed to do about it? I'm in charge of the design department, not the makeup department. <laughs> this is frustrating. Oh no. Can't seem to find it. We only need the last one. Right. Design workshop. I already went there. Photo. I already went there. Let's try going back to the uh, 12th floor. Let's see. Let's try. I already went here. Maybe I overlooked it. Maybe it's in here. No. Um. Okay. No lipsticks in here. Jewelry. I don't think. I would, I don't know. Let's check. Break a brack? What? Yes! How lucky is that? Really? Here's one of the samples I was looking for. I think I found all the tubes of lipstick. Now there's not a minute to lose. I need to give them to Kim. Really? Oh my god. Why is it freaking scattered? Well, Kim is not doing a great job being a freaking boss. She loses stuff. Then she freaking blames her employees. That's not a great boss at all. <laughs> okay, whatever. Did you want something, Clara? I found the five lipstick samples. That's great news. Can I have them? Only if you give me lots of money. Just kidding. Ah, oh, you found my lipstick samples. Where were they? Anyway, you can tell me later. The journalists are getting impatient. I'd better not keep them waiting. Thank you, Clara. You've been a real help. Just doing my job, Mrs. Doherty. But you did it very well. McAllister was right to recommend you. You've got a great career ahead of you at Style Factory. So I guess we're done with one, with another storyline. So let's do some tasks. Oh, we can't. Wait. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go to Mr. Nelson's office? Let's check. It's open now. Let's try. Excuse me, but I really don't have time right now. Well, he doesn't have time. Hmm. I wonder where. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait. Can we give something to this dog? 
I don't know. Let's try. What's this? It's a dog toy, so. No, we can't give it to him. Okay, I, I wonder where to go. Let's try Scott's office. Sorry, but I don't think we've got anything more to say to each other. <sighs> no. Let's try and use this first. Ooh, welcome to your book. This is where you can file and showcase the photos you've taken in the photography workshops and catwalks. You've got a free hand here. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is a tutorial. Yes, I know. Oh my god. Um. Wait a minute. Layouts. This one? I don't know. Maybe this one. Ew, I don't like her arm. Mm. Ew, no. That one? No. Meh. Whatever. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, I think... I don't think we're supposed to go... Never mind. Let's just call people. Uh, mission. Quest journal. Mm, favors... Carols... Uh, oh, we already freaking done this one. Cocktail party. We already done this. I don't know where to go to next. Let's call people. Apparently we can't. Dude. <laughs> we can't call people. Okay. It requires us to freaking go everywhere. Every location. Let's find Carol. Oh my god. <laughs> Sir McAllister. Perfect timing, Clara. I need your help. Yes, Mr. McAllister? I've put my glasses down, goodness knows where, and I can't see properly without them. Not well enough in any case to find them. Leave it to me. 
Really? You'd do that for me? Well, that's very sweet of you. I'll bring them right back to you. See you soon. Thank you, Clara. Okay, we need to find his freaking glasses. Um, let's try this room. Okay, I don't think his glasses are in here. Sorry, but I need to finish getting ready. You always say that to me. Let's try Nelson's office. Maybe it's in there. <gasps> there it is. I knew it. They always hang out. So, obviously. My glasses, at last! What a relief! That'll teach me. Next time I really must buy a spare pair. Good idea. Oh, Clara. It's no fun getting old, you know? I remember when I was your age. Everything was so much easier. I can imagine. I started in the same way as you, as a trainee at Griffith & Sons, which was a big fashion house back then. The owner, an English woman, was very fond of me. She let me design a line of clothes, at just 20 years of age, imagine that. I was terrified, but my work got noticed, and three years later, I was able to open my own couture house. How lucky. I hope I make it too. I'm sure you will, Clara. You've got talent and the ability to work hard. You'll make it. Thanks for the encouragement, Mr. McAllister. Okay, well done for completing this task. You've won two pendants, one decorated with bronze beads and the other with copper beads. You've also been awarded 50 tokens. Okay, that's great. Um, can we do quests now? I hope Carol's missing, apparently. <laughs> Let's talk to him, I guess. Sorry, but I haven't got time now. Okay, whatever. Fudge you. Can we call Carol now? We still can't, so I think we have to find her. Let me just save. I wonder where she is. Let's try the freaking balcony. Okay, there she is. Carol isn't very talkative. What really, dude? Ugh. I went here for nothing. Okay, I don't think someone's in here, so let's go back to the lobby. And let's do the quest. Why did I freaking go back to the lobby if I can access this? Catwalk. Okay. Let the awkwardness begin. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Would it be possibly to arrange a private mini fashion show so I can show your work to my film crew? Sure, why not? Let's go.
Ew, another one of those freaking posing. Okay, let's change that up. Okay, good, we're done. Uh, of course, let's do this. Let's do this, this, this. You know what? I kind of like everything except for this one. This one is not that bad too. <laughs> Yay! She gave us two necklaces. Okay. And 210 tokens. Great. Good work, Clara. Your colleagues definitely weren't overestimating you. You're very talented, you know. I know. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, hopefully we can do some... Uh... Okay, we can. Uh, How much token do we have? Oh, we have lots, so let's go shopping. I want this one, it's cute. Bags. Let's buy... I don't know. Um, upper eyeliner. Bright red. Okay. Um, let's buy dresses. Tail coats. Um, what about this one? Whoa, this is freaking expensive. This one too. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's buy this one. You know what? Let's buy the things that we can afford. Okay, we no longer have freaking tokens, so let's end our shopping. <laughs> I just bought almost everything. Jet Set, Ulysses' Dream Show, a play based on the epic tale of Ulysses and Penelope. The order is an outfit for the part of Penelope. Okay, we all we also have catwalk for that, so okay. Mr. McAllister is no longer here. Okay, he left. It's Belinda Houston. That idiot director was decided to give the leading role of Helen to a young upstart. And I'm landed with the role of Penelope. Which means I won't appear on screen until the end of the film. It's an outrage! So you're going to have to outdo yourself with my costume. I want to be more beautiful than Helen, do you understand? Chill, dude! We'll do our best. Open back top. Open back top. Cross over front. Draped skirt. This is kind of hard. Open back top. Open back. Is this open back? This is backless. Uh, no alterations for this one. What about this one? This is only v neck. Okay, this is backless. I don't want 
this one, but no alterations, dude. Okay, let's just do that. What about skirt you want? Freaking cross over front. Cross over front. This one you want? Or this one? No, you want long. Okay. Alterations. What about this one? Okay, this one isn't so bad. Mm, no patterns, no prints. Colors, cream off or off white. Light gray. What color is cream? White, pink. Wait, what? Or off white, okay. So maybe this one? I'm not sure. Oh, I don't think so. This one? Lemon? No. Olive green. White green. Oh, this is gray, no. I don't think there's freaking off white. This is the off white that I kinda think. So let's stick with that. Next, leather. one works but let's look for more Th these are not sandals this one what about this one okay she didn't like that I don't think we have tiaras, dude. Oh my god. Well, fudge. <laughs> oh my god. What's this? This isn't the tiara. Oh, this one. I want you wearing gold, but I don't think we have gold. Ew, we're doing so bad. <laughs> No other types of accessories. No patterns. Open back top. Open back. This is backless though. Uh, can I even? What? What if? Okay, she doesn't like that. Is this gold? Um, we can't change the color. What's this? Oh. This is shell, fake brooch, buckle. What is it for? I think it's for the freaking. No, we don't need that. Um, let's try changing the uh, torso. I don't think she'll like the other stuff though. Okay, this is open back. Gotcha. Okay, she liked this one better. Uh, what if we change this to this one? 
no, she doesn't like like it. Uh, she wants the other one. Not this one. I think I like this one better. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I don't want to take too much time. Okay, let's do more. Okay, we can't apparently. Um, what, what to do? What to do? Where to go? Uh, maybe let's try Mr. Nelson's office. He's still busy. Excuse me, but I really yeah. don't have time. Not him. Uh. <laughs> Office book. Hmm. Maybe Scott has some favors for us to do. Sorry. Okay, no. Uh, I don't know where. Mm. This, this area is still locked, so let's try the balcony and talk to Carol. Carol isn't very t Okay, I don't think so. Mm. Let's go to the common room. Okay, so I'm guessing it's on the roof. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think so, I'm hearing noises. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Fashion show, wait. Ew. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I haven't had time to look at your design, but arrange a mini fashion show for me. I better be worth it. Fine. Oh my god, she's so freaking annoying. I don't like your attitude, miss. Yep, same posing. I shouldn't expect too much in a freaking 2007 game. your photo okay that shot I want last one finally we're done now get out of here get out of here We'll get all. <laughs> Yay, well done. You've just reached the first level. You've just become fashion's young hope. Keep it up. You're on the right track. Okay. Perfect. With this costume, they'll soon realize that that young upstart is all wrong as Helen. I'll completely outshine her. Shut up. <laughs> You're such a bee. 
Okay, uh, more quests to do. Airjet Asia. Want to redesign their air hostesses uniforms with company colors. Okay, we need coffee eyeshadow, black contact lenses, black eyeliner. How much gold do we have? Gold. Uh, tokens. 113. Okay, let's go to the shopping. Shopping area. Okay. Um, contact lenses. This one, right? And then eyeliner. What more do you guys need? Oh god. Mm. Okay, we already bought clothes, so I think that they will need this one. This one is good for the freaking mission that we're going to do but I don't have the money yet so I want to buy everything but nah it's this this is green okay uh you know what no let's look for more What's this? Bolero. Okay, let's buy that one. Fishnet. These are fishnet. You don't use that for freaking... I don't know. For <laughs> a freaking flight attendant. Court shoes. Pumps. Try that one. Okay, no longer have gold. We no longer have gold. Mm, I don't know, dude. Okay, let's end the shopping. Okay, we're we're fine with the uh, requirements, so let's start. Beauty workshop. Oh wow, <laughs> what is she doing in here? Hello, Clara. Well, it would seem that nothing works in this fashion house anymore. I've just been told that two creams and three lotions have gone missing. Five prototypes, all from the same line. I'm surrounded by idiots. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, that must be annoying. We absolutely must find all five products. Just imagine if a journalist stumbled across them, or a courier, or a visitor, or indeed anyone. It would be a disaster for the company. These products mustn't leave the building before the official launch. I see. Clara, would you do me a favor? No. You know what? No. Go find them yourself. Say no more, Mrs. Doherty. I'll go and look for them. Wow, you're such an ass kisser, Clara. Thank you, Clara. You're a clever girl. You'll go far. But first, let me do the beauty workshop. Okay. Clara, the Airjet Asia company wants us to come up with a makeup range that is in line with the uniforms we're designing for them. It's a massive, massive contract, so there's absolutely no margin for error. Okay. Champagne or vanilla foundation. Okay. Okay, let's stick with vanilla. Champagne, I think it's too white for you.
Ew, your face is too white. But, okay, whatever. Okay, next. Okay, raspberry or burgundy. Oh no. Oh my god. The blusher is too freaking big. Oh god, what's wrong with your freaking choices of makeup? It looks weird. Oh my god. I'm not liking it. <laughs> she looks terrible. Whatever, that's what you like, right? Whatever. Okay. Okay, red lipstick. Do we not have freaking just red lipstick? Oh my god, we don't have red lipstick. So let's try this one, cherry red. Okay, next. Burnt sienna or coffee? Burnt sienna. This one? Uh, I don't think we have burnt sienna, so... This is sienna. Okay. No tattoo. Hair in a bun held in place with hair sticks. Okay. This one? Okay. Mm, brown or black? You look scary in freaking black <laughs> hair color. Whatever. Filed red nail varnish. Oh my god. I think we're not doing so great I don't want to smudge the freaking nail polish, but it just keeps on freaking smudging. I can't do anything about that.
Ew, no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, last one. Okay, sad to say we didn't perfect it. Oh, so that's why we haven't placed eyeliner, dude. Mm. We need black eyeliner. This one? Where the heck? Black? This one? Wait, let me check. Mm. Black contact lenses. Okay. Do we have black? Oh god, I don't think we have black. Shit, no. I think that's good. <laughs> I don't have black. This is pale blue. Fine, we'll stick with this. Or maybe dark brown will do. This one. Oh, this is black. <laughs> Lol. Okay, it's, it's almost perfect. But yeah. It's fine, I guess. Wait, why can I freaking zoom out? Okay, whatever. So this is what she looks like. It's scary, I know. <laughs> okay, next. Before I wrap up the stream. Oh god, we have two. Three! Two more. Okay. Design. Let's check. Okay, it's it's a freaking Chinese airline, so that's why. <laughs> she looks scary. <laughs> Clara, Airjet Asia has chosen us to design their new stewards uniforms. Airjet Asia is one of the Far East's biggest companies, so please don't underestimate the importance of this task. Yeah, you've been telling me a while ago. Okay. So you want a dress. Let's do this and then let's do what this one. Do you like that one? Or this one? No, you don't like. What about this one? You, you certainly don't like that one. Since you're a stewardess, let's do long sleeve. Next. Uh, simple bolero shrug. Uh, um, I don't know. What about this one? Okay, it looks ugly. But this one, ew. Yeah, this one will do. We only have one bolero, right? Yeah, we only have one. Okay, next. Asian patterns. Wait, what? What? Okay, for the dress, I guess. Asian patterns. What about the bolero? I don't think. It looks ugly if you place a freaking pattern for that. Um, let's just check later. Okay, so the color should be red and gold. So why not wear this one? This is much better. 
I'm guessing. Yeah, I, this is much better. Since there's already gold stuff over there. So... <laughs> where is the gold one? Okay, golden yellows. Mm. Let's do that one. Red. And then for your um I don't know what color should that uh look like. Ew. Ew. Mm, I don't know. I think red is much better. Wait a minute. I think I like this one better. Dark red. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, what else do you want? Mm, okay, you don't want me to change your shoes, right? Oh, you want you want me to pointed court shoes. Pointed court shoes, pointed. This one. Okay, this one. Red. Red, black, or gold. Okay. Uh, I don't think black is good. Gold is fine, but yeah, she wants red. Okay, next. Briefcase in matching colors. Briefcase. Is this a briefcase? Purse? This one? Okay, this one. Okay, we, we got it right. Yay. <laughs> Marty, do you know where Marty's gone to? Who? You know Marty, my dog. He's disappeared. I haven't seen him, but I'm warning you. If he bites me, I'll call the pound. Anyway, animals aren't allowed in this building. Scott, please stop teasing me. This is serious. You wouldn't help me look for him, would you? Absolutely not. I've got... Will you, Clara? Well, if I can be of any help. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. It's always freaking Clara. Wait a minute. I have to go to the design workshop. Come and find me there once you found Marty. Aren't we going to look for him together? No time, Clara. No time. She's lazy AF. Oh god, wait a minute. Uh, uh, missions, missions. Oh dude, you didn't get to find a freaking uh, beauty product, prototypes? Or maybe that's a side quest, I think. So before I end the stream, let's finish the... Uh, what do you call it? Oh my god, no, not this one. The missions, yeah. Okay. Wait, I can't do it. Seriously. Uh, fine, let's go to the freaking lobby. Or maybe we need to find a dog first. Yeah. Fudge, we need to find a dog. Urgh, that stupid dog. Always. Oh my god. Let's try the library. There he is. Hey, there's Marty. I've just got to catch him. Rats, I wasn't fast enough. What the fudge? You didn't give me the... Wait, what? The garment? I'll tidy these clothes up later. First, I need to find Kim's dog. I need to give him the ball. There. Oh, little doggy, are we friends now? Good boy. Now you just trot along behind me back to your owner. I don't know where the fuck Kim is, dude. Is he gonna follow me or what? So, little doggy. Okay, little doggy, follow me. Oh my god. I don't know where she is. Oh. Oh my god. 
I really have to find her? Seriously. Oh my god, he's going with us. I can't freaking use the map. I might I might lose him. Okay. Where the fuck? This is locked. So I'm guessing she's in Nelson's office. I don't know. Stupid dog. Okay, let's try the design workshop. Maybe she's there. <sighs> good. I've got some good news, Mrs. Doherty. I found your dog. Oh, Marty. What a relief. I was starting to think that maybe Scott had actually carried out his threats. Now sit, you rascal. What are you waiting for? Well, if that's everything... Wait, Clara. I need you to do me just another very small oh. favor. Marty has made a real mess of the clothes in the showroom. It's nothing serious, but some of them have disappeared and we need to find where they are. Could you do that? Uh... Ah! Uh, indeed! Ah! Uh, I was eyeing. It started a while ago. Oh my god. I hate him. I'm starting to hate her. Please. Okay, Mrs. Doherty. I'll take care of it. Oh my god. I'll do that in the next stream. Oh my god, I hate this bit. Seriously, I have to do them now. Oh fuck. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm going to lose my sanity. Fine, fine. You know what? Let's tidy up. There's something in there. What the fuck is this? Screwdriver. Let's try here. Okay, nothing here. Run faster, Clara. Oh my god. Wait, what? Garment, 11? The fuck? That garment is too high up for me. How can I reach it? I know. I know. I know just the thing. Okay, let's just get all the garments first. Oh my god. Only five more garments left to find. <gasps> really? I'm getting there. Fudging hell. Really? Five more garments, dude? Just four more to go. Oh my god. This is freaking annoying. Yeah. Maybe there's a lot in the balcony, I hope. garments in here so let's use this stuff over here okay. my dog's barking poor Clara she became a freaking errand girl in no time okay let's use the pole How many more have I got to find? Three? There you go! Almost done! Seriously? Why do you still sound so happy? Oh my god. I don't know where the others are. Let's try the roof, maybe? Is this locked? Yeah, those are locked, so... Let's try the roof.
my god, I don't think it's in here. Oh my god. Okay, there's one over. Oh, never mind. It's it's just freaking a freaking light. I thought it's a freaking, I thought it's a garment for some reason. Oh my god, do I really have to? Oh. What? I don't know where to find it. I can't do missions and stuff. I haven't got any parcels to send. Okay, bad idea. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try the corridor. Wait, what? Something just freaking popped out. Or was it the alarm button? It, it was the alarm button. Okay, three more. I don't think it's in here. Oh my god, this is giving me a headache. Thing. Okay, okay. We can't freaking go for a swim, right? Maybe the garments are in there? No, I don't think so. Just jump up the freaking building. <laughs> and everything and all of your suffering, Clara. Nothing in here, dude. Oh, there's a box over there. We can't. Apparently. Okay. I'm gonna end the stream for now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.